Okay guys, today I'm going to be talking about how to operate the scoreboard at the Bensonville Ice Arena. So, if you get here and it's offed, there's a switch on the side of it. Let me get it over here. And you want to flip that to the direction of the ice. And it'll turn on with a beep. And usually scoreboard controllers don't ask this question, but it's going to ask if to press any button because it's a demo unit. But it's it still works as a regular scoreboard. So always hit no when you start off. Where you left off, or you're, you're gonna have a bunch of stuff to clear. Then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna operate. You're gonna put your model code in, which is zero zero eight three two six one. It'll beep and then it'll show zeros. No shot clocks and yes for penalty. First, what you're going to want to do for setting the time is set time, then the number you would like. So for 3 minutes, for example, 3 colon zero, 0 but for this we're going to do 10 minutes, so that's 10 colon zero, 0 And then you hit yes, and then period, and you just hit 1 and it'll automatically go to your time. So you're ready for the start of the game. To start it, there's an alternate time switch, you just hit that and it'll start counting down. And then flip it the other way to stop the time. Now we're gonna set the scores. So if, this is the easiest way. So the home team score is just home one time. That just means you're adding one. And don't worry about the entry error. And guest score, same thing, plus one. Now, if you did make a mistake, you would have to do set home score back to zero yes so you'll keep adding but just say you made a mistake I'll show you right here don't worry about the error thing it always does this alright so once the time started and we're gonna tr do penalties in a second here let's stop the time let's do set home penalty or guest penalty then number minutes you want, so two minutes is two colon zero zero. Then yes, and your player number, so twelve. It'll go automatically up there. And once you, the reason we have the penalty timeouts on is because of the if you stop the time, the penalty would still be going if you hit it if you hit no. So clearing the home penalties, home penalty or guest penalty on penalty clear, and then yes, and it'll automatically clear it. So as you can see, it's gone. So fixing the mistake would be home, or set home score one and yes. That puts it back to one. Before it was at two. Um, and that's always under a minute. The scoreboard will give you a tenth of a second under one minute. Some people have it disabled in their options, but that's another long story. So, for the buzzer, you do not hit horn. Once it goes off, you hit the time off switch. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching this video. This has been Zach, and I'm out.